to have one individual you know, win that award, uh, stacking up against every athlete in every sport, it's, it's pretty overwhelming. You know, in this game of tennis, you play millions of points, literally, and <clears throat> lots of players find a way to take a point off, either because they're, they're tired, they're frustrated, um, you know, they're angry. Um, Chris, I've never seen Chris take a point off in uh, four plus years. I remember I played my first tournament I mean, it was just like a little, kind of like, almost like a local tournament. And uh, I think I was like seven turning eight. And I remember I, um, I ended up winning the tournament. And like, it was just like the best feeling in the world, you know, just being like a little kid and just had a ton of fun out there. Like, I felt like I won Wimbledon or something, even though, you know, obviously it was just like a little tournament. When I was in high school, like a senior, I didn't even really know if I wanted to play college tennis. Um, like, I wasn't really recruited very heavily at all. Like. Um, for Division One schools, and then you know, like Coach Richards, he watched me play once. Um, I guess he liked what he saw, and I mean, he just kind of gave me like a chance. He had some other uh, very high academic profile institutions in mind. Obviously, he's a 4.0 student; never had anything less than an A in his life, including four years at Ball State. And, and it came down to the springtime, and he was still undecided and they finally came for an official visit and really liked everything and so it was kind of late but um, fortunately he made the decision to join us. My freshman year we had a match against Xavier. Um, I guess it, like the match had kind of come down to me so like you know everyone else had finished. Um, if I won the match we won as a team, if I lost we lost. So um, in that match I was I was down pretty bad like I didn't really think I was going to come back and win. Like. You know, I don't think anybody on the team probably did either. I was, you know, like I said, down pretty bad. I ended up um, coming back and winning that. And that was just such an awesome feeling. Like, you know, like I won and like the whole team like runs out and hugs you and, and my parents were there to watch. It was, it was a really amazing feeling. One day I just kind of got an email and I think the subject said something about like, you know, Bob James Memorial Award. And I, you know, opened the email and I was like, congratulations. And I was almost like, what, like, you know, like, do they send this, like, not by, like, mistake, but you know what I mean? Like, I didn't, you know, it didn't, like, process at first, and then obviously it was really exciting. When you put it in perspective, when you think of the competitiveness of that award, when you think of to, to have one individual, you know, win that award, uh, stacking up against every athlete in every sport, it's, it's pretty overwhelming. Yeah, he was really proud. He, you know, told me it was a really prestigious award, which I didn't, you know, necessarily understand at first. But, yeah, I think he was almost more excited than me. But I would say his biggest impact is just the example that he sets in, in terms of what the true meaning of a student athlete is. Um, you know, what he's accomplished on the court and what he's accomplished in the classroom. Uh, and these awards, uh, you know, postgraduate, going on to the law school next year at Florida. Um, it just sets an incredible example for not just our tennis players, but really all athletes at Ball State to just see, you know, what, um, what type of uh, young man Chris is and, and what example he set, you know, what he means to, you know, this athletic department, not just the tennis program, but again, I would just say the example that he has set. In the past, like, four years, it's just so much fun being on the team and competing, and um, it's really, like, kind of, like, reinvigorated my love for tennis. I'll definitely miss my team the most. You know, we spend so much time together on the court, obviously, you know, 20, 25 hours a week. And we hang out almost every day, either, you know, we'll go golf together, go fish together, whatever, just hang out. I'm going to miss that a ton, just not being able to be around them.